In this video, we're going to be sharing with you one of the best Cover 3 bombs in Madden 23. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Also, if you want to check out my entire Bunch Tight End offensive ebook, we're going to be talking about Bunch Tight End today. Make sure that you're in our Patreon. The Patreon membership includes access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So if you want to become a Patreon member today, like I said, it's only 10 bucks. You'll get our bunch tight end offensive ebook in that, as well as all of our other ones. I think we have 16 ebooks in the membership right now, and we're planning to release uh, a brand new one here in a few days. So again, make sure that you're in the Patreon. You're going to get access to everything for just $10. Um, but today we're in the run heavy playbook and we're talking about my new favorite offense in the game in our latest ebook that we just released, the bunch tight end uh, offense. And I want to show you a really effective cover three bomb um, that absolutely destroys pretty much every cover three coverage you're going to face. So what you want to do is you want to put your bunch, the play is PA all cross or PA boot over. You want to put your bunch to the wide side of the field. And then what I like to do with this play is smart route the uh, post. You don't have to do that, but you can. But go ahead and streak the slot receiver, and then you're just going to have a tight end apprentice, and you want to put him on a corner route. Now, if you don't have a tight end apprentice, I'll show you something you can do in just a second. But what you'll see is this will be wide open for a absolute nuke against cover three. Now the beauty of this is this also bombs cover four, cover two, uh, and cover one man, depending on personnel and some things like that. So you can literally bomb pretty much every coverage uh, with this play, and that's what makes this offense so good. Um, that's what made it so good last year, and I think it might even be just, especially because of the current meta of the game, where if you put two edge protectors on your tackles, um, it's pretty hard for the opponent to shed you this right here is going to make this concept that much better okay now um i do want to talk just briefly about what do you do if you don't have a tight end apprentice pretty much what i like to do is just put him on a smart routed out route honestly this normally works just fine you'll see here it's not as good because he is trying to recover but he's not able to recover um to that sideline so simply just putting this guy on you know a um, you know, like I said, like a like a deep out route. Another thing you can do is put this backside receiver on a slant. So you see here, we're going to put the backside receiver on a slant. The slant a lot of times will pull a third, and you'll have this little window over the top for a one-play touchdown. So as you can see, this is a very simple bomb, um, and I think very effective. Now, let me show you one other th setup here. Um, the streak is really important, I think, because of that third if you don't streak that guy that third can play that route so just keep that in mind um also if you wanted to just try this setup right here it's not a bad setup where you're literally just going to streak this guy you're not going to do it you're going to block your tight end for extra protection and you see we're still able to get over the top so there's a lot of things um there's a lot of variations of this that can work for whatever you need it to do you know something like this and you'll see he will get over the top um, with a good free form. Now, uh, again, I want to emphasize a good free form. You're going to have to free form this. Uh, my free form settings, I think, are on near 2020, and then it's placement and accuracy, of course. Uh, so what you'll see here, you know, is if I don't free form it, it's it's going to be either a bat down or an interception. So I have to free form that ball. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to probably throw a pick. I'll show you what happens if I don't free form it. So you see here, this is no free form, and actually it was still okay, but I'm, you're not going to get the one play touchdown potential that you can get from this. Um, now, last thing I do want to do is show you this to the short side and show you why it's important to run this with your bunch to the wide side of the field. The post doesn't have as much space to be able to run. He'll like stop running. This still has potential to bomb, as you see right there, uh, from that sideline. But the problem is you notice that that middle third defender is going to play this significantly better. And um, it's like you see how, you see how that middle third defender is going to match that better. So if they have like a KO ability on that, that's a bang-bang play and potentially um, could be problematic. One last thing I do want to say about the passing trajectory of this is if you highball this, if you highball this, 
this is also helpful um specifically you know again if you're not going to freeform you might consider just holding l1 and then highballing it and what you'll see there is that will give him that animation right there which a lot of times even if there is a defender in the area as you saw right there he's still able to make the play so that's another thing to consider you know when throwing this bomb if you want to highball it highball it pass lead inside if you will and you see you get that animation a lot Guys, if you want to get the rest of the offense, this offense is absolutely lethal. And if you want to learn the rest of it, make sure that you join our Patreon for just $10. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any new ebooks and all the updates to all of our ebooks as well, which we pretty much drop updates pretty much every single week, um, some little variation or some little tweak. So I'd really encourage you to join the Patreon if you're not in there already. Again, 10 bucks gets you access to everything. And if you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.